Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. And I think to myself, what a wonderful So today's video is going to be a little bit different. I am going to be doing a makeup tutorial. I usually don't do these like maybe once a month I'll do a makeup tutorial, but this is going to be my summer slash spring makeup routine. So this is basically what I have been doing for the past like month and a half um, for spring makeup, pretty much like everyday makeup. And I expect I'll still be doing it in the summer, maybe with a little bit less foundation or something. So I'm just going to like walk you guys through my current routine. This is kind of what a mixture of what I wear for work and also what I wear on the weekends. So let's go ahead and get started. So first I'm going to pin my hair back and I have cute clips. So maybe this is the reason why I'm recording this video. I don't know. But I got these little ones from Amazon. They're like the little cute ones that everybody uses that don't damage your hair. They don't put like a crease in your hair. And then this one I got from Daiso. It's huge. Look how big it is. Um, and I'm gonna clip back like my big, the big section of my hair with this. So first things first, I'm gonna go in with some primers. I do already have my um, sunscreen on, so don't forget your sunscreen, kids. For primer, I've been using this pretty much every single day. It's the Thank Me Later face primer from Elizabeth Mott. I just got like a tiny sample of this in like a BoxyCharm or Ipsy a few years ago and I'm finally finishing it up. Um, but it's basically the same thing as the um, Smashbox uh, pore blurring primer. It's basically the exact, the exact same thing. So once that runs out, I'm gonna be using the Smashbox one. But I use this every single day, even at work. Um, I just feel like it's really helped um, diminish the look of my pores whenever I have makeup on because I don't know if you guys can tell but I have some texture issues going on and my skin is actually a little bit like dewy right now because it's been a few hours since I washed my face um but I don't really feel like going back and washing my face again <laughs> so I'm gonna put this on mainly where I get texture which is like my chin my cheeks and um my nose and my pores like right here and a little bit in between the eyebrows but really my forehead is actually like a really good spot for my face so um, but yeah, I developed like some really bad underground, um, pretty much just like bacteria buildup from wearing masks so much. So I really have like a bad section right here on my face and a little bit right here, but not as much as this side. And then my chin is like absolutely horrible. So if I pick at it, then it turns into cystic acne. But if I don't pick at it, then it just stays there as texture. So you can't win for losing. And then I put on, if I'm at home on the weekends, I will put on the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. This is basically like a primer slash glowy highlighter. You could use it for a lot of things, but I primarily use it like right where I would like to have um, some glow. So I'll do it like almost my under eye right here where I would put highlight and then on my nose. Sometimes I'll do my chin if my chin doesn't have texture as much, um, but today it has a lot of texture, so we're not gonna put it on the chin, because um, it does emphasize texture. Anything glowy will really emphasize it. I'll put a little bit on my upper lip, but I really like putting this underneath my makeup. Um, I don't pack this in my work bag to put on before work, because I feel like it's just like an extra step that's not needed. But yeah, lately for work, I have been doing like a full face of makeup now. Um, I don't have to wear my mask while I'm at my desk because I do have my own little office space. So I haven't been wearing my mask when I'm at the desk. So I have been actually doing a full face of makeup. Whereas before I wasn't, I was really just doing like under eye concealer and then maybe a little bit of eyeshadow, mascara and brows. But now I've been doing like a full face. So next I'm gonna go in with my Mary Kay under eye corrector. I use this pretty much every single day under the eyes and then I'll do it a little bit on like some problem areas like if, it, if it's scabbed over and it has it's like super red I will put a little bit of the color corrector even though it's meant for my eyes I feel like it just gives me that extra layer of coverage underneath um, my foundation for those little blemishes Okay, and for foundation, I do a mixture of things to be honest with you guys. So I'm just gonna show you everything. Sometimes for work, I will just do like spot concealing. Sometimes for work, I will do a full coverage foundation. I'm trying to use up this Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundation um, in soft beige. So I pack this for my work bag just to like finish it up. It's not my favorite. Um, sometimes if I'm feeling on the weekends like a lighter coverage or like if maybe I'm feeling super pale, I'll mix in this CoverGirl um, Skin Milk and Light. Oh man, that's 
really getting a glare going. Um, I'll mix these two together sometimes on the weekends. And then if I'm trying to go for full coverage, which I usually wear this only on the weekends, this is the ABH Luminous Foundation in the shade 210N. I seriously love this. I'm probably, I'm gonna use this today. And sometimes I'm not as tan and I can't use it by itself. I'll have to mix it in with that CoverGirl Skin Milk. That's like my number one um, product that I mix in with stuff if I want to lighten it for my skin tone. Um, I have been self tanning or yeah, fake tanning with like self tan mousse. So sometimes I'm a little darker, sometimes I'm not. And then like, I've also been out in the sun a little bit more. I go on like weekly runs for like about an hour. So I get that kind of sun in the, in, um, during the day. And then I'm going to go in with this elf foundation brush. Um, usually for work, I'll just blend it out with my beauty blender. And sometimes on the weekends, if I'm feeling like an extra step, um, then I will put on cream bronzer. This is just the Milk Makeup Mini Bronzer and um, Flower Beauty Blush Balm in the shade Cinnamon, I think. Yeah, Cinnamon. I love this shade, it's so pretty. Um, but I'm not really feeling like, maybe I'll do the, I'll do the liquid blush, um, but I'm not feeling the bronzer today. And I'll put it on the back of my hand. I actually just started doing this because Emily, um, no, Jessica Braun, on YouTube, I watch her all the time. She has great makeup tips. Um, she started doing this too, and so I put it on the back of my hand, and then I go in with a brush and pick it up, and then the trick is to basically get most of the product off of the brush on the back of your hand, so that way you're only putting as much as you want on your cheeks. Otherwise, it would be like way too overpowering. I think that's like the problem with cream blush is sometimes it's like way too much, but if you use the right technique, then um, it really looks good. So I've found that this technique really works for me. And this color is absolutely gorgeous for summer. And sometimes if I want to have like the sun kissed look, I'll do it on my nose. Today I'm gonna do it on my nose because I feel like it's really cute. So I'm gonna go over it with my little Beauty Blender sponge. Let's go in with concealer. So I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Fit Me concealer. I have two shades. I use Ivory. I'm just trying to finish Ivory up. It's like to the very end of the bottle. There you go, you can see. And I'll do this on the inner corner and a little bit on the outside because it's like way lighter than I need. And then I just got this new one in um, Fair. And this one's like actually the color that I need. See, way better. Even there, it looks like, it looks really light in the camera, but I swear to you, it's not that light. I really love this formula. I feel like no matter what, you'll always get creasing under the eyes because you know we're human we have skin that does its own thing but i do feel like this one looks nice it wears well it doesn't look super heavy which i've had that problem with concealers before like tart shape tape and stuff it looks super heavy i feel like this one looks okay then i'm going to go in with my derma blend banana powder I bring this in my work bag, it's kind of messy, but oh well. Um, and I'm using this Luxie Precision Foundation Brush, but I find it's actually really good to, to press underneath the eyes, to press on that powder. And then to set the face, I do one of two things. Either I'll use my Pretty Vulgar Mad About It Setting Powder, which I have been using recently because I've been finding the hotter it gets, the oilier I get. Um, but if I want something super glowy, then I will go in with this Hourglass palette and use these two colors. They're basically like glowy finishing powders. Um, but today I'm gonna go in with the Powder Room Matte About It powder. I focus most of this where my texture is. And then like without dipping in again, I just go on the forehead and the nose. Okay, and these next two products are my absolute favorite go-tos, spring and summer must-haves, okay? You need these in your life. This is the Ulta Beauty Baked Bronzer. I know, Ulta Beauty. Um, it's in the shade, I don't think it has a shade actually. This might be the only one they make. I don't know if they make it in like a darker and a lighter. I wish they did, that would be nice. But I got this, I think last winter, like around December of 2019. It's amazing. Um, I I have the Hourglass Baked Bronzer, but that one's almost too shimmery for me. And this one provides, look how beautiful, like the best bronzed, sun-kissed look. I bring it out every spring and summer. It's so gorgeous. And I am using like a really large fan brush. I don't even know what brand this is, but I got it from Marshalls. 
Um, but I really like the fan brush to put on bronzer because it helps me get this like chiseled look a little easier than using a different type of bronzer brush. So that's from a um, Nikki Tutorials, I think, came up with that and I really like that idea. And then I put a lot on my neck to like blend it, but also to get a chiseled jawline. And I put it right here to like accentuate my chin. So highly recommend that if you're looking for a baked bronzer because I feel like baked products are the best for the summer. And then another holy grail, this is the second time I bought it. This is the Milani Baked Blush in Berry Amore. Stunning, she's stunning. This is what it looks like Milani has rubbed off already, um, but it's number three, Berry Amore. This is my favorite shade for my skin tone, personally. Um, I remember a while back, I think it was Luminoso is like, was like the cult classic favorite that one was almost too light for me and this one i feel is perfect for my skin tone but um this just i think looks amazing on my skin tone they have this in a ton of colors i almost considered buying like every color because i just love how this looks on the skin honestly the camera's not doing it justice because it's kind of washing me out but it's so pretty so i definitely recommend if you're looking for a baked blush or something like really nice for the summertime this one is really good. For highlighter, I'm using the Soph X Maker Revolution palette. I think they still sell this. I'm not even sure, but Maker Revolution does make some really good stuff. I am going in with this color right here. It's already like dented, you can tell. So I'm gonna go in with a highlight brush. This is another brush from um, Luxie. It's the tapered highlighter brush. We're just gonna go right here. And I would put on my chin, but today we're not gonna do that because the texture on the chin is like a little crazy. And then lately I've been using the AOA, um, this is a Shop Miss A brand sculpting brow pencil. This is like the darkest brown, deep brown or something. Um, I'm just trying to finish it. So that's what I've been using. Um, I brush it out a lot because it is like almost too dark for me. To be honest with you, I would go one shade lighter than you think your brows are. So yes, my brows are deep brown, but I would go for a light brown or medium brown instead. I think it just looks more natural. For brow gel, I'm going in with the Essence Lash and Brow Gel Mascara. I hate this, but it's what I've been using. It's the only one that I have, so I need to finish it, but I hate it. Um, it definitely does not keep your brows in place, and it doesn't work, so don't buy it, even though it's $3. Um, I definitely liked the one that I had better, which was the ColourPop Brow Boss Gel. Um, that one worked a ton better than this even though i really didn't like the the cover girl one that much um it definitely worked better than this one but i'm using it so yeah okay and on weekends i'll use a eyeshadow primer but on weekdays i really don't care i'm just trying to do my makeup fast so i will put on primer today okay now that you look crazy um we're gonna go in with some eyeshadow usually for like weekdays when i'm going to work i'll just use the bronzer as like in my crease and then one of the highlights from that highlighter palette all over the lid and call it a day so for today i'm going to do a combination of the abh subculture palette and the Too faced natural face palette and i'll show you what i'm going to use um, but the first thing i'm going to do is go in with the shade dawn um, in this subculture palette it's just like a shade to set my lid okay and this is my go-to eye look so i'm gonna go with roxy it's this like coral shade almost and i'm gonna go in the crease right here like the outer v and then bring it in and i just think it looks so cute and it's a really cute fun look for spring and summer just to bring in a little bit of color without going crazy because i'm really a neutral eye look kind of girl i don't really like to play with color that much so for, it's surprising for how much makeup that I have that I don't really do anything besides neutral makeup, but um, I challenge myself to try and do colorful looks and this is kind of like the most basic colorful look that you can get. And I will bring a little bit under the lash line. I like to blend stuff under the lash line. That's just my personal preference. I think I have like almond shaped eyes, so I like to concentrate most of the color on the outside. Now for like the best part of the look, this is in the Too Faced Natural Face Palette, the shade Satin Sheets. It's basically just a gold highlight. Um, so if you have any gold highlight, you could definitely do this look. And I'll take a little bit on my finger and go on top of the lid and it's so gorgeous. 
I feel like gold highlights are very unappreciated for like lid shades. Okay, now that we've placed that down, I'm gonna go in with a little bit more coral just to kind of like blend the two together. And then I can't, I literally cannot do any look without an inner corner highlight. So I'm gonna go back in with the same highlight I used on my face and take it on my pinky and just go right in the center. Sometimes I do like a little bit underneath not too far though. And sometimes I'll do like a little bit under the brows. I'm not really feeling it today, so we're not gonna do that. But before I go in with liner and mascara, I'm gonna use my setting spray. This is the Milani Make It Last setting spray. I don't use this on weekdays because I usually just like forget to pack it in my work bag, but I'm gonna use it today. I'm gonna cover the jewelry. So for liner today, I'm gonna go in with the Wet n Wild Pro Line Felt Tip Eyeliner in Dark Brown. I just got this and I've been really loving brown eyeliner lately. Um, I definitely wanna do a wing, but sometimes with this look, I'll just do a little bit of brown eyeshadow up here and smoke it out. Um, other times I'll do like a, a black liner, you know, just mix it up. But I really feel like I'm gonna be using this brown eyeliner for like all of summer. And then a little tip if you want your lashes to look fuller, I put gel pencil eyeliner just on the under uh, waterline underneath my lashes. It just makes them look a little bit fuller and I feel like completes the look. Sometimes when I don't put this on, I feel like something is off and I don't know what, but it's that. <laughs> and then if I'm feeling it, I'll put on this nude liner from Pixie. I think I'm gonna do that today. I will never use this on a weekday. I just feel like it's uh, a little much, but I'm gonna do it today. It just kind of like wakes you up, brightens your eyes. I think it's really pretty. It's better than a white eyeliner, in my opinion, using like a nude one. And then for mascara, I'm gonna use my Mary Kay Lash Love Fanorama. And if I know I'm gonna be wearing a mask all day, I don't do lower lashes, but if I'm not, then I do lower lashes. I usually go in with two coats just to get like a really good voluminous look. And for lower lash mascara, I will always comb it out with like a, a dry spoolie because I hate clumpy lashes, top and bottom. Going with the second coat, I usually just concentrate on the base of my lashes for the second coat to try and get the fullness factor going. And then for lips, I really don't have like a go-to lip product, um, but today I'll do a little bit of liner. This is the Jante Blue. Uh, brown sugar liner. I like that it's a, like a little bit darker so then I can go in with a lighter color on the inner lips and I really do love these lip lingerie um, lipsticks from NYX so I'm gonna go in with the one in the shade push up. I have like a whole set of these in like every color and then I'm gonna go in with my NYX butter gloss in the shade glazy days. I love this gloss. It's so pretty. Sometimes I'll just do this gloss by itself. And I think I'm run, running out of it actually. And yeah, that's pretty much the full look. That's basically my spring and summer go-to makeup look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I think it looks like really nice and simple and still glowy, but your face won't look like a glazed donut by the end of the day. So it'll definitely stay on well. And then this eye look is like totally what i'm gonna be wearing like the entire summer so yeah i hope that you guys enjoyed this video let me know down below if you enjoy these makeup um videos like my makeup content because i can do a little bit more of it if you guys enjoy it um it usually isn't the type of video that gets the most traction on my channel um but i do have fun while i'm doing them so thank you guys so so much for watching if you enjoyed like comment and subscribe down below and i will see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>